So I've made a riddle about a sea creature. I've used many of the skills that we have learned throughout the week and underlined them. These are what I want you to use as well. So here and here I have used question marks and that is because I am asking questions. So you may choose to use the same questions at the beginning and the end of your riddle or you might decide to use different ones. It's entirely up to you. I've added full stops at the end of my sentences as I've finished what I wanted to say but I've also used an exclamation mark to finish this sentence as I wanted to add some excitement at the end of this sentence. Underlined here, 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 here and here I have used adjectives. Remember those are describing words and they make your sentences sound much more interesting. Last of all, I've added the word and into my sentences and these are to extend them further. Right, let's read the riddle. What am I? I like to walk sideways on the golden sand and also run quickly on the bottom of the ocean. I have a hard shell that protects my squishy body and warns off fierce predators. My claws are sharp and I use them to catch and crush shrimps. What am I? Have a little think. What animal, what sea creature do you think it is? Right, let's find out. It's a crab. Well done if you got it right. So you may choose to use the same layout for your riddle. You might decide to have writing on one side and a picture and the answer on the back. Or you might decide to have it just underneath. But remember... The answer always needs to come at the end. So the sentences are giving clues about which sea creature it is and you want the reader to guess which animal it is. So you give the answer at the very end.